Okay, so figured I'd go out and earn some money. But in case you haven't heard, I don't think I told anybody. Maybe I did. When I got together with Peter and uh, Scott, I think I mentioned it. But the government sponsoring me to go back to college online. Um, courses really I didn't want to take. They kind of forced you into it, but they fund you to do it. So the next year will be a little bit less heavy on me as far as uh, income is concerned because they provide grants, government grants. And there's a couple of loans that I'll have to pay back, but it's government sponsored. So I went for it and learning skills is not bad. It's all home based, internet based. I don't have to go and be in some kind of class. I take my quizzes and courses and assignments right online. But it's interesting at 57 years old that I'd be going back to school. Which is nothing wrong with that. Learning and learning and learning and learning is okay. It's worldly shit. Human resources and business administration. Kind of didn't really want to take that, but the position I'm in doing this kind of job and struggling all the time to get ahead in the sense of what this world is like. That's wicked eons like is it's not easy. Anybody knows, you know, when you got a family, you got a wife and son. My son has got a job as a security guard now, which is good too. The wife is happy. The mom is happy. <laughs> That's what we got to think about. In my position, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Going back to school, it's not so bad. But my next study, my next word study is going to be tremendous. It's on the word soul. The doctrine of demons, of the immortality of the soul, started in the garden, right off the hop. You shall surely not die. Well, the scripture don't say it that way. The scriptures say to die, you shall be dying. The process of dying happened the moment they ate of the piece of fruit. So the immortality of the soul or the senses living on in some fictitious world of like woo, 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 spiritually spiritualizing it all. Like, fuck, it's insane. There's no consciousness in death. How can your senses live without a body? And without the breath of God breathing into that body and animation of the soul. Simply as that, your soul is your senses, your five senses. Everything about you, your consciousness, your personality, all of that is derived in the soul. That is what it is. It animates. It brings alive your body. So... That's the next word study. It's going to be an extensive one, long one. I'm doing long ones because you go into the keyword concordance and you find the word and it's just a lot of scripture associated with it. I didn't even do all the scripture that was there. I'm mostly focusing on, I guess, the Greek scriptures because the Greek word comes out. <clears throat> and that's what I bring out. So from that angle, it's really good for edification growth and learning in the sense of understanding words because you got to understand the word in order to actually uh, bring it to life and that's what the key word concordance does with the Greek and I love it so thank God that you're enjoying them um, they're presented with picture backgrounds that I pick out if you don't like that, that's fine. But as long as you're reading the scripture, you can pause the video if it's not long enough for you and you don't have time to read it all. You can always pause the video in between the scripture and uh, get the full scope of what the scripture is saying. 
But I love doing these presentations and I thank God that he's given me what he's given me to do it. <clears throat> but anyway, God is providing and keeping us enduring this wicked eon. Excuse me. So that's what's important. <clears throat> we need to keep focused on Christ, our life, because that's just it. Christ is our life. We are joined to him spiritually now. Soon, in reality, it'll be fully joined to Christ, our head, as part of his body, connected in spirit, fully Imagine our new bodies. Wow. Our new bodies are going to be just so powerfully spiritually fueled. The soul will not dominate. Your senses will not dominate. Your physical, soulish senses will not dominate your new spiritual, celestial frame, which will be vivified. That word vivified is beauty because it will be brought to vibration and light powerfully beyond anything that we can even imagine now we're kept low in these bodies of humiliation we're kept low on purpose to endure the race because we're in a race any member of the body of christ no matter where they are and what position they are right now is in a race because you're enduring i don't care if you're just sitting there like a bump on a log if you're a member of the body of christ you're wrestling you're doing something in spirit because the spirit of God makes its home in you. So never ever take your position in the body lightly. It's vitally important. Whether you're the, the last member, it doesn't matter. We'll look for that last member. We deem one another superior to oneself. This is what we're supposed to do. We're to walk in love. Unity of spirit with the tie of peace. This is our lot in life right now as being luminaries of the evangel of Christ, our brother, our head. Thank God for you. Grace and peace.